I wrote it after uh, my grandfather. I used to hang out with him a lot when I was young. And so I'd come, he was real hard of hearing from working at GM for like 30 some years. So you get about half a mile away from his house and you could just hear the radio just cranked up. And uh, he was always playing guys like Waylon Jennings and Johnny Cash. And so even at a young age, like I had a real fond appreciation for them guys and the stories they told. And so then when I got started doing this thing, I got thinking about some of the stuff I'd been through in the military and past, you know, relationships and stuff. And I thought, man, I know what that's like. Like I've been through some of that shit myself. So that's kind of where it came from when I came up with that. They sang by women, cocaine blues, how to live your life all wrong. And I follow the stairs of the owl, always writing songs about my struggles and strides. Learn a lot about living, heartache and pain, what it's like to almost lose your life. Everybody, welcome back to McBastard Studio. I'm Brad Banyas. You're listening to the Salty MF Goat. Today is one of our Salty's Live Music edition. We're really excited to have Zach Haynes here, country music singer, a local from Jefferson, Georgia. Super good dude. He just cut some amazing tunes before this, which you'll you'll really enjoy after. But uh, everybody, welcome Zach Haynes to the show. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're, you're the, the, I love sitting here, dude, hearing you sing. <laughs> I know you're like, you want me to go again? I'm like, yeah, let me do it again. Play another one. Play another one. Hey, I love it, man. I, it's awesome being able to come and do something like this. So. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm really glad we connected. You, you've got, you know, we were talking a little bit before. You've got a pretty interesting story about, you know, your your granddad and yeah. how you kind of, you know, kind of fell in love with music. And yeah. then I know you were in the military for Was. a while. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, you know. Tell, tell the audience a little bit about you. And well, I got my first guitar when I was 10. Uh, my grandma bought it for my birthday. And uh, it was like a little Washburn, you know, just a little acoustic guitar. Yeah. And, and uh, back then, like, I didn't really know any, like, whole songs or nothing. And I was really into, like, Nirvana and Green Day and oh, stuff yeah. like that. So I just learned the intros because I thought that was the coolest part. Yeah. So I knew, like, 
a hundred intros. And then after that, they're like, where's the rest? I'm like, no, now this one, you know, just like, but, uh, I always had a guitar with me and just messed around and like my, my family's really musical. My, uh, my great uncles, they had a band in like the sixties that they'd started. And that was like all the brothers were oh, like the cool. members and, um, they were called the orbits and like they had, like they went and won uh, battle of bands one time and stuff. And so we all grew up just like sitting around the bonfire and stuff, just like playing music and watching, you know, the different generations play. And it was just kind of, yeah. you know, you, you almost had to get in, yeah. and, you know, so then, um, like, I played with my uncle and my cousins and stuff like that, and just, like, little garage bands. We'd mess around, drink beer and stuff like That's that. That's awesome. And um, I went to the Army, and I took my guitar with me, so I had it in there, you know. And I got deployed to Iraq. I got over there, and I ended up buying a guitar from a guy that was leaving for 50 bucks. <laughs> and um, then my, my parents surprised me, and they kind of band together, and they, they sent over, like, a little cheap electric guitar with an amp and stuff. And... Um, like shipping, you know, when you're shipping over there, it's like I'm sure it was ridiculous. Oh yeah, more, more than the guitar <clears throat> that they paid. Yeah, probably. but so even over in Iraq, like I had I had music, you know. That's all. Awesome. And um, so after I got wounded in Iraq, I got hurt and um, got brought back, and got medically retired out. They uh, started wanting me to write like diaries and stuff, like like yeah. you know, just I don't know, it just felt weird. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not a 12 year old girl. Like, I'm not keeping a diary. And they're like, well, you can call it a journal. I'm like, we both know what it is. Yeah. Know? So then that's when I got writing like songs and stuff. And I put it in like kind of song form, you yeah. know, and, and put words to it. And it just felt more comfortable. And um, so then, in, like, I wrote some songs and stuff like that. And just like, man, can I do this? And it, it's kind of, you know, kept getting pushed off and stuff with family stuff. And, you know, my son going to school and, well, then, uh, in 2013, uh, our daughter passed away. Oh, shit. And, um, yeah. But, so, after that, I was like, I have to do something because I'm going to lose my mind, yeah. you know. So, like, I remembered the whole songwriting thing. And, like, so I was like, all right, I'll give this a shot again. Mm -hmm. And I ended up writing this song called Burns. And it's kind of, like, tells the story of me coming home and, like, the aftermath of that and me seeing my wife, like, the way she was and stuff and, you know, and just kind of hurting and me not really knowing what to do other than just being there for her, you know? So I wrote this song and um, I remember she was at work and uh, cause it was like a few months later and uh, she was back at work and I said, I wrote this song, like I want you to listen to it. So she called me and she was like, you asshole. And she's crying, you know, whatever. And she's like, why would you send that to me at work? And I was like, is it good? She's like, yes, it's great. And I was like, okay. I'm like, I didn't know if it'd be any good or not. You know, I thought maybe you'd shut it off halfway through. And she was like, yeah, from now on, give me a heads up. And so I was like, I think maybe I, you know, my wife's, you know, she's partial. So, like, I was like, but I'll send it to a couple other people and see what they think. And they were like, dude, this is really good for real. And uh, so that kind of started. I, I put all these songs together yeah. and um, had, like, my first album, you know. And it was, like, every song that I'd ever written. Like, I didn't have yeah. a lot to choose from. Yeah. So I wasn't playing shows out or nothing. It was just, like, I was kind of a living room player. Yeah. And I ended up talking to a guy, uh, well, the guy's name's Corey Smith. I don't know if you know him or not. He's, he's a local musician in uh, Jefferson. And um, I ended up talking to him, and I'm like, man, I don't, you know, I got, like, these songs and stuff, but I don't know what to do with it. And he's like, man, go up to Lee, uh, Lee Davis in Maysville. Go up there, and he has a studio. Like, he'll work with you and kind of, you know, show you the, the ropes or whatever. So I went in there, and, like, I didn't know how to play to, like, a click like, yeah. I was off time. Like, I didn't yeah. know anything about anything. And he's like, well, just take these songs home. Like, practice this. He's like, get a metronome. Practice at this tempo for this song and this one and that. He's like, then come back. So we did that for a while. And then just kept, like, kind yeah. of building this album up. And, like like I said, I did it ass backwards. Like, <laughs> I wasn't playing shows. Like, no yeah. one even knew I was, like, a singer-songwriter. Yeah. So then all of a sudden it was like, I have this album, you know, I put out. And, uh. Then I was like, all right, well, I think I'm going to start playing shows now. And, like, I ordered, like, a 1,000 CDs off CD Baby. <laughs> and, yeah. like, I still have, like, five of them <laughs> left, you know, because, like, no one has, you know, no yeah. one really does CDs anymore. So um, that's how I, like, got started or whatever. Yeah. And then once I started playing shows and stuff and I got more comfortable and I was like, okay, you know, like, and then I got more comfortable with my songwriting and stuff and, and just do, you know. So it was like, that's kind of how it all started. That's awesome. That's a great story, man. I'm sorry to hear about your daughter. That that's a that's a that's a tough thing. Yeah, it was a it was a it was a rough one, man. 
Yeah, it's a tough thing. I grew up with a brother and sister that passed. It's a yeah, that's it's impactful on on everybody. You know? Yeah, so that's what my son. He was uh oh, let's see, he was oh seven. That was like so he was like six. So, yeah. So he, he like remembers everything, you know. Yeah. But like, it, it was just kind of weird, like uh, the way it all went down, and he didn't really understand. You yeah. know, he's like, "What? I don't," you know. And we tried to just. Yeah, explain it, it the best you could without just crushing yeah, the kids. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, sense it's, of it, it never it never goes away. Yeah, yeah. It never never goes away. Yeah, it, it, uh, it doesn't. So God bless you guys. No, I mean, you, you. I mean, you know, your your personality has people. You know, they, they don't they see you singing and talking here, but like you you just got like one of those personalities, <laughs> man. That like you walk in and you feel like yeah, I feel like I've known, I feel <laughs> yeah. like I've known this guy you know my whole life. So man, I feel like life's humbled me so much that. Like, I don't have time anymore for drama or yeah. arrogance or – it's like – when I was younger, I was, I was real bad with it. You know, I was a jock, I guess you'd yeah. say, or whatever, and kind of had this chip on my shoulder and this, you know, this walk, this swag, yeah. or whatever, like, you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> type you, of thing. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you know, like like kind of a D-bag. Yeah. You know? Pretty big deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm a big deal. <laughs> but – and then, you know, it's like, oh, life's kind of tough sometimes. Yeah. Like, you're not as great as you think you are. Yeah. You know, I just and I was like, you know what? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be like that. Age does it to you. Too yeah, well. yeah, I think so. And yeah. Especially when you see your son kind of start to mimic some of the stuff that you're. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 don't, yeah. don't yeah. be like that. Don't be like me. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do, yeah. dude. That's tough. They, they're watching too. Yeah. Oh yeah, your, definitely. Your, your kids are watching. You may think they're not even that one that you think is totally opposite you is is watching. Yeah, and it's like I'm like, all right, we gotta make change here, and I so. I just like meeting people and like getting along, you know. I mean, some people are hard to get along yeah. with, but I'm like, that's their problem, not mine. I'm yeah. just gonna be cool. You yeah, know? and but, you 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 learn to you learn to avoid them, avoid, yeah, you know, or or quickly quickly uh, pull out and move, right. move on. Yeah, you, know? you just learn how to kind of deal with it and yeah, just carry on. So I I uh, so man, you're I, I love I love your songwriting and lyrics and stuff because just I mean, you can tell us it's from your heart. It's it's you. It's stories. Uh, and, you know, you were talking about your granddad used to play music really loud because yeah. he, he didn't have – he had hard hearing. Yeah, yeah, he was real hard hearing from working for GM for 30-something years. And uh, I was, like, 16, and I used to go over there and hang out all the time after school. And um, you'd get, like, half a mile from his house, and he'd have his garage radio on. It was just, like, cranked up. Like, I don't know how the windows didn't, like, blow out. <laughs> but um, – and he was always playing guys like Waylon Jennings, Johnny Cash, yeah. and, all like, all the greats. So, like, you know, I was 16 and, like, had I was just like, man, these guys are awesome. Yeah. You know, they're talking about stuff that, I guess, not really taboo, but, you know, like, talking about yeah. cocaine and but stuff. But real and, life. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, yeah, dang, real that's, life. that's a wild ride, you know. Yeah. Can't imagine that. Then as I got older and stuff and, like, some of the stuff I'd went through and, you know, when I started writing songs, I'm like, I, I know what that's like. Yeah. You know, and that's when I wrote the song, that first song I played, I, I know what it's like. That's where I came from. Yeah. It was just kind of relating to them through my experience and being like, you know, definitely wasn't a wild life like they had. Yeah. But, you know, I've, I've had some things. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd say you've lived a life, man. We, you know, we, we all have. It's funny, like people, uh, some some people, you talk to people and, you know, you hear their story and, and they think like they have a boring life and the person listening is like, holy shit, that's, <laughs> right. my life's boring as shit compared <laughs> yeah. to that. You know, yeah. I mean, it's funny perspective. Right. But, it really is, man. Yeah. You don't look at like you don't yeah. look. You you think oh, because a lot of things are mundane. You know, you get yeah. to work. You every everybody does that, but it's it's awesome. Like we wanted to do this podcast for this reason. Yeah. Like because storytelling um, is almost like a dying thing. Like people don't sit around and just right. well, hey, yeah. what happened? Yeah. How'd that happen? Right. What it, like yeah. you don't. Those stories aren't passed down because yeah. we're so eight seconds into a TikTok video yeah. or some shit like that. Yeah, which, absolutely. Yeah, you know. it is. Or people are just kind of afraid to tell things because it might someone might think bad about yeah. them or yeah. something. You know, it's yeah. like my wife gets on me because I'm kind of an open book with stuff. Yeah. And I'll meet someone, and if I jive with them, like, yeah. I, you know, if I feel like I've known them for, I'll start telling my wife's like, don't, what are you doing? We've known these people for an hour. Why are you telling them? Like, they're oh, cool. Everyone hates when I go out. My <laughs> wife calls me the mayor. We just got back from the Keys talking about uh, cocaine. The square groupers are floating down there on the <laughs> nice. on Key West. But, uh, yeah, she's like, Jesus, d don't talk to these people. You don't, <laughs> yeah. like, but I'm like, I'm in there talking to everyone. I was, we sat down at the bar, and I got a beer and whatever, and my brother in law always give me shit because – so the guy, bartender's from Philly, we hit it off. It's Chris, yeah. down there, baby, you did a good job. 
So we're just drinking whatever, and he, he, he walks by, and he goes, hey, Brad, what do you want, whatever. And the guy's like, dude, you've been here 10 seconds. This guy <laughs> knows you by name. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, he's from Philly, man. He's a right. good dude. So, yeah. uh, See, that's I like that too, man. I like meeting people and just like and just connecting and jiving. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, yeah, she gets, she's like, even with our friends and stuff, she'll get, she's like, TMI. Yeah. TMI. Yeah. 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 I'm like, there's no I, such thing. Yeah, there is cool no here. such thing. And I, I, I've got a bad habit of just, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll drop a cuss word every <laughs> yeah. other day. And I, and I, and it's just kind of not to be like rude or lewd or whatever. Yeah. It's just kind of like, you know, I'm just kind of like, you know, fuck yeah. it. it is what it is, right. you know, and be like, oh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's hard for me like playing shows because a lot of times you're playing the bar scene and that's acceptable. You know, yeah. you can say kind of whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Then there's times when I'm like getting ready to sing something and I'm like, Oh, there's kids. Yeah. Like, what can I say instead? Church. Like, kind of no. yeah. don't, don't sing that song in church. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My wife would be like, oh, "Is he gonna say it? Is he gonna... Oh, don't do it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think it's uh. So I recently just I, I, I'm I'm not an Apple guy. I hate Apple. I hate I hate all this stuff. But I, I use Google Music, and I've been using Apple. And mm-hmm. there was a song I forget which it was, but it, it had some great like cuss words in it, and like they literally changed like the song. Yeah. And I was like, "What? Yeah, I'm like, this is not even the real song, yeah. man. They're it changing the words it. in yeah. it, man. What? What? It, that's it takes, you know, yeah, it yeah. takes away from it, man. So. It's like it's like your nostalgia or whatever. You're like, and then you hear that, and you're like, it's not even so. Yeah, like, don't not, even play it. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Swifties, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go there. Yeah, yeah. Let's, I'm gonna do yeah. a, I'm gonna do a Zen insert for Chuck Shumi in a second, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. So do you um, do you find uh, what comes easiest to you? I mean, is song is the lyric side pretty easy for you? I mean, is it is it hard? Uh, you know, like some people can just sit down. You know, like yeah. the Beatles wrote like their first yeah. album in like an hour. Yeah, you know? I'm definitely not like that. Yeah, I have to kind of 
feel an emotion, whether it be, you know, whatever emotion, happy, sad, whatever. Yeah. Like I gotta, I have to feel something to kind of get the mojo going yeah. on the writing process. And like, I've tried to sit down and force myself to like write, you know, cause yeah. they're like, practice makes yeah. perfect. You yeah. just gotta keep, you know. And then I sit there and I'm like, I got nothing. Like yeah. I'm not feeling, you know. Like I have nothing. Like, yeah. It know? does it like I know that like Eminem was famous for that. He always had a book and you yeah. wake up in the middle of the night and like write shit. Well down. that's why I used to think yeah. like songwriting was, yeah. you know. I mean like there's like times where I'll hear something and I'm like, ooh, I like that and I'll put it in my notes in my phone or something, you know, and save it for later. But like I have probably hundreds of half written songs where yeah. I was feeling a certain way and got halfway into it and just kind of lost it. Yeah. You know. It's just sitting there, just waiting, waiting for that feeling to come back. Dude, I'd be the worst because I have AD. I'd be like, <laughs> I, like I remember something just like Alex saying before. Yeah, you need to do salty broads and like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. And like <laughs> yeah. in ten minutes, I'll totally forget like what <laughs> yeah. you know. Right. So if I don't do that, my ADD kicks in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does your does your um, does your boy like music? Does he is he uh, yeah. trying to play it or does he just love it? Or he when he was younger, he took drum lessons for a while and stuff, and he keeps talking about how he wants to get back and. And uh, kind of dive in. He's like, I think it'd be cool to play a show with you one day. And I'm like, dude, that's what my plan was yeah. like all along, you know. But he got, he's really good at wrestling and stuff. So yeah. he got into sports and girls and, you know, yeah, cars. Don't blame and, him. Good no. job, dude. Yeah, yeah. You got good priorities. Yeah. Well, that's, you know, like my wife says, like, he's his father's son. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll take the blame for that. Yeah. He's, he's like 17 or something. <laughs> yeah, he's 17. Yeah. Yeah. So my 18 year old like yeah. that, too. But he has like a wide range of music that he likes. Yeah. Like, he'll play some stuff for me sometimes, and I'm like, how the hell did you find this? Yeah. And he's like, Dad, this is a cool song. I'm like, I know it's a cool song, yeah. but I didn't think you'd like it. So, but yeah, he yeah he really gets into the music, and all his buddies, like, they like coming to the shows and stuff, yeah. and kind of having that live music, you know, so That's it's, awesome. it's fun, like, a whole group of, like, teenage boys come in, yeah. you know, and see, and I'm like, hey, I know you guys. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. It's pretty cool. It's really cool, I see, because being a dad, like, everybody thinks of you as a dad. Yeah. Right, so like when we started all this stuff, like my kids' friends are like, "Dude, what the hell is your dad doing? Like, so <laughs> yeah. what, what is this? What's yeah. he doing?" You know, it's it's cool because they get to see like you're a person. Right, right. I mean, you're, yeah. you're just you're just like them, except we're older. Right, right. right. We would have been the same doing the same. Sometimes thing. it's kind of a double edged sword because sometimes you know they come up and they're like, "Where are we getting drunk?" And it's like, <laughs> "I'm a father. What are you? What are you talking?" No, I'm just kidding. They don't say that. <laughs> but you're kind well, of that, thinking it. Yeah, that's yeah. But it's like you know, that's a bad, that's a very poor example yeah. of that. But it's like that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm like, like I'm a dad. Like I yeah. can't do that. You know, yeah. like I can't. I don't know. I don't even know what to say now. But <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's it's all that way. The the hardest thing I see like when I when you get older like is you still like I'm 18 in my heart. Yeah, like I I, I still like I'd still be going out doing stupid shit and whatever. You're 18. And it's hard because you know as you get older and you got a lot of responsibility. You know, you like you you got to sometimes not be an yeah. immature asshole, but <laughs> right. that immature asshole just wants to come out. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just sitting in there. Right. Honey, sorry. Yeah, I'm 18. Yeah, it does. Uh, well, I'll well, sit there like we were eating breakfast the other morning, and um, like all my my son's buddies were there, and we got talking and just kind of like I felt like I was just sitting with my buddies and started and she was like are you 12 are you 12 who's the adult here and I'm like we're at home just we're trying to eat like we're just go in the other room yeah. we're, we're having fun yeah it's universal women are universal yeah. so oh yeah. yeah and she'll be like I don't we, I can't even trust you to be their chaperone that, oh I'm definitely <laughs> don't that's why the shirt so this thing you know most likely you need adult <laughs> yeah. suit so my uh my uh, sister-in-law there, Lori, got this for me, so I really appreciate that. But she made these for it. And I, when they pulled it out, we had 20-something people at the beach uh -huh. last week. And you had to, they had, everyone had to pick, like, who it was. Like, yeah. see, she knew who the shirts were, but everyone <laughs> yeah. had to, like, just go in and grab one and go, oh, shit. And everyone's like, everyone's like, oh, that's Brad's shirt. <laughs> yeah, so. that's his. Might as well have his name on it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. So you were talking about like most most of the things you're doing has it been kind of local to Georgia or have you traveled like is there like an ideal venue I'm gonna ask this question is there an ideal venue like you you want to play at? I want to play it yeah. like I mean yeah uh probably uh Billy Bob's out in Texas yeah big honky tonk out there is like probably like the dream yeah. that I mean to me Billy be, Bob's we're calling you out <laughs> yeah like to me that would be awesome yeah to, get the band out there and, and like a lot of my listeners and followers and stuff are in texas yeah so it's like i'm in the planning phase of like next year like how could i make that happen do a little run out there and just yeah. test the waters to see 
you know, if we really do fit in out there and stuff. Why do you, why, is that just from like Spotify and stuff? And yeah, like Pandora, of... like I'll get analytics or whatever, yeah. you know, on Facebook, like they'll, they'll tell me, you know, the areas and stuff. And uh, yeah, Texas is real huge on my music and stuff. That's awesome. For, for some crazy reason. Kudos to Texas, baby. Yeah, yeah. Which I, that's where I kind of came of age. Like I was 19 when I joined the army and I got stationed out in Texas. Oh, okay. So like... I do have a special little place in my heart for yeah. Texas just because there's a lot of memories out there. And my son was born in Texas. And um, so, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. But we play mostly around Georgia. Like we get up in Tennessee and we've been over in South Carolina and stuff yeah. like that. So, but uh, mostly Georgia. So, your band, when you just, just curious, like when you're, when you're back, we, we, uh, I told you before that Hush Money on all those guys are like two of them are brothers. Yeah. And they've like known the other two, like they, they like grew up together. Uh -huh. So, like your band, do you guys have a tight unity, or was it kind of a bunch of people came together and just? It was, it was kind of crazy how well we connected and meshed, yeah. you know. And everyone's like kind of at a certain point in life where like the the bullshit's out the window, yeah. you know. Like my guitar player is sixty years old, oh, that's but awesome. he shreds, like yeah. he's awesome. And my bass player, I think right behind you, brother. <laughs> yeah, he's in his, I think he's in his fifties, and like yeah. cool down to earth dude, like you know just. Plays plays a bass like like crazy, yeah. and then my drummer he's a little bit younger than me he's like thirty five or something, but he's actually uh, a Baptist like preacher or yeah. whatever whatever they call them I don't know the yeah, preacher yeah. minister I don't yeah. know anyways but uh so it's like all different kind of walks yeah. life and like that's cool you though. know and like when we first got together I'm like we look like a bunch of misfits <laughs> you know like, like like none of us look the same at all like we're just kind of. And then we started playing. I was like, "Oh, these dudes are good, man! Yeah. Like, this is gonna be fun." And then, um, like, it just yeah, like we went to Augusta and played an overnight show. It was like our first one, and we all rode down together. So I was like, "We're getting a little taste of like, you know, yeah. how it'll be on the road with each other." And uh, and it was fun, man. Like we right. went and had a good time. Like ate dinner before the show, and the, you know, and it was like everyone was ready after the show to go back to their hotel and just chill. Yeah. Like I didn't. I was like. Oh man, you know Jimmy's gonna be out at three in the morning. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go bail him yeah. out. Like I knew yeah. nothing was, like that was gonna happen, you know. Yeah. So it's like peace of mind almost. Like that's awesome. We're all out of that wild stage, yeah. I guess, you know. So yeah, it's Cody Matlock. He was on. He's a kind of R and B guy here. Uh, plays a lot down at Blind Willie's. He's a good guy. When he came in and uh, they, I just cut my beard. Well, they cut my beard. I didn't <laughs> want to be that cut, but it was pretty long. And he walks in and he's sitting there. And he goes, "You." Four dudes are the weirdest group of people. <laughs> yeah. I've, like, and my kid was here too, which, yeah. and, and he's tall, whatever, young. He's actually a good looking kid, younger. But he's looking. He goes, "Y'all, y'all are the biggest dweebs I've ever seen." And it was, it was hilarious. He's a good yeah. guy. He's cutting back and forth. And um, I was like, "Yeah, we, we're kind of an interesting crew." Yeah, you know? right. So That's I think awesome. sometimes that works. You know? I think, yeah, I think so too, man. It's like, and everyone has their different personality, and it just, you know, don't overpower. There's not two button heads, or yeah. you know, like a. But it's except for the older guys, they're they're kind of grumpy old men. Yeah, you know? they'll yeah. they'll kind of get at each other. So I'm that's like, hey, I'm, <laughs> let's separate you two. Come on, hey, now. hey, same team, same team. Gonna get that applesauce out here in a second. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Yeah, Chill out. Well, yeah, no, that's cool, man. That's awesome, man. Why? Well, I, I mean, you when I heard you, I mean, it's funny because we've actually kind of crossed paths indirectly for a while because I think Nick Carlson, you knew Nick mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, Nick had mentioned to you a while back. And like, I told you my ADD, like <laughs> yeah. I, I, if I don't write it down, it's gone. Yeah. And then uh, when we had uh, Chris on, um, Kather's, you know, he said, Hey, I, you know, I, I got a really yeah. good country singer. I know you're going to love this guy. And then, then uh, open our medium Baker. I mean, I was like, well, shit, this is the third time <laughs> yeah, I can remember right. three times. Yeah. Let's get him on, <laughs> yeah. man. Third he's, time's a charm, man. He's good. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, that makes me feel good, man, that, you know, that people are pushing that. Cause, yeah. You know, this business, it's weird, man. Like, sometimes you feel high. You know, like, yeah. after this, I'll be like, okay. You yeah. know, like. I'm going, man. Like, we're, we're skyrocketing here. You know, and then you hit kind of a wall, and you're like, oh, no one likes me, I guess. Yeah. You know, just kind of. It's like that bit. Like, it's just weird. Yeah. It's, you know, I mean, we, you and I talked a little bit. Like, we just kind of got into this Salty's Live music. It's maybe been 90 days. Mm -hmm. I mean, it hasn't been a long time, but it was something that we really wanted to do and highlight musicians, good musicians like yourself. And each, you know, every musician I've talked to, like, the people we have in here, like yourself, like, you're like, holy shit, these guys are amazing. And you're yeah. like, what's the deal? Yeah. And they're like, well, you know, everybody's looking for the new kind of pop 
hit artist yeah. and like you have musicians that like really are are musicians yeah. and they're writing their own songs, mm -hmm. playing their own songs. Right. And to me, as an outsider, because I'm I'm not a musician, but I love music mm -hmm. and I've always loved music, all kinds of music, country, rock, punk, you name it, I like it. Not Swifty stuff, but, um, <laughs> but you know, so I, I, I feel like I have a good ear for it, you know, but it's just like everyone I hear that, that, that I think, wow, like if these guys got one shot, mm -hmm. like yeah. if they got one, one big uh, arena or one big, you know, viral TikTok, yeah. which I hate all this shit where you gotta be on TikTok all the time. But, um, you know, I, I think, I think life's like that though. Even yeah. just, I, you know, I have, we have other businesses and like, Years, some years you're like, come oh, in that decade yeah. was awesome. Like right. oh, that in this decade sucks so far. Yeah. You know, it's just I think yeah, the ups and downs like of the game. Yeah, and it does. It feels like a roller coaster sometimes. And but like, like I've kind of come to terms. Like I may never be like mainstream. You know, like if you want to call mainstream, yeah. whatever. You know, it's like there's different levels to it for sure. And like you kind of have to get comfortable with where you're at and just yeah. be like, okay, if this is where I'm going to be at, I'm going to do the best job I could do here. You yeah. know, and I'm going to have local people like yeah. you know i want everyone to know my name or whatever yeah. you know and it just i don't know like trying to you know a lot of people say man you should go to nashville and it's like yeah but you don't realize the game of that yeah. you know i've had conversations with places up in nashville before and it's like how tall are you how much do you weigh are you uh uh you know partially your beard would you would you be interested in shaving it don't do it and i'm like what are we gonna talk about my music yeah. or you just want to know if I'm cute enough, yeah, like to, yeah. to market me, you know? Hey, my wife thinks I'm cute, asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. <laughs> that's but, all that matters. But yeah, it's, it's kind of it's just weird. Like you have to block out all that yeah. kind of noise, you know? Yeah, I think also, I mean, it's it's always interesting because uh, we had Kels on, who's uh, like a jazz um, singer. She's awesome. Um, and you know, I always say, you know, what what would you be doing if like, what would you be doing if you weren't famous? Well, I'd be singing. Mm -hmm. And I think if, if you have that yeah, kind of, yeah. like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, you definitely have you to like have it. love for it. Yeah. If you like it, great. If you don't. Yeah. And know. that's the guy I can kind of consider my mentor, Lee Davis. I'll have conversations with him all the time because I'm like, man, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels. And he's like, would you rather be doing this or digging ditches? Yeah. I'm like, good point. Yeah. yeah. Like, I dug ditches. not fun. Yeah. I was just saying. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like... That's that, that's true. Yeah. Pour like, some concrete yeah. in 108 degree weather. Right. Not that fun. Sometimes, yeah, man. Sometimes I feel like very fortunate that, you know, I, I guess trained myself to be able to play guitar yeah. and to, to do something and that I can do like that, you know, make a living at it and I don't have to like break my back no more. With, yeah. You know, that's a, that's awesome, man. You know, with the Hank Williams, what make them laugh or make them cry. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's definitely I mean, true. I mean, it's true. And I, th I think though that, um, you know, I think if people can, that's why I think, I, I personally think a lot of days now people don't care about lyrics that much, but, you know, or does your voice sound good or whatever, mm -hmm. but like a music is a form of storytelling, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, and if you can Definitely. tell that story and, and those feelings come out, mm -hmm. I, I think, you know, and you, do, you did that in your songs. I Like to me, when I listen to music, I want, I want to get something out. Like, right. you know, like yeah, cause it's old yeah. school sex pistols or something. <laughs> yeah. I still listen to some crazy <laughs> yeah. shit like that. Right. Kennedy's and, and, and the, Lyrics aren't very good, but I mean, um, I, I think you've got that great storytelling. Well, I appreciate that approach, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. I love it because I mean, hey, you know, we're all in this thing called life together, and <laughs> right. I don't know if the lizard people are going to show up, but if they are, I, show up and show out. Lockers. I mean, get here and do it. Let's go. I mean, I don't think they're coming, but if they do come, let's get it over with. Yeah, you know, we're all in this thing together, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, and definitely. everybody bleeds. Everybody's saw you know sad. Everybody's happy. I mean, people yeah. people forget the unity of yeah as humankind like what right. we have right yeah so. definitely it is man it's like um the people that are like that like i, I don't want them around like you know i, I want everyone to win yeah. i mean like if someone's doing something and they're trying their ass off like I, i'm rooting for you yeah like absolutely. i don't care if it's another musician like i don't feel that you know like oh that's my absolutely. competition yeah. like no man i want you to eat i want to eat yeah. like you know I, I want everyone that's doing something and trying to succeed that's, to, to that's, do it. I mean, that's I and mean, that's true. That's awesome. And I think when you do that, other things also come out of that because people see, like, I mean, people ask us in certain businesses, like, well, how many competitors do you have? Like, thousands. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think is different between what do you do and they do? I don't know, but whatever I tell you I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Right. So I don't have to worry about mm -hmm. the 18 things. Right. Uh, 
on a PowerPoint <laughs> right? that yeah. someone did a good job with AI writing it. Yeah. If I tell you I'm going to do it, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do it, right? right? right. We're going to do a good job. And I think, you know, that's, that's awesome. Our business in another world, which is really not related to this, but um, people ask you, how have you guys been around 25 years? I'm saying partnerships. Yeah. Like yeah. strong partnerships, right. like stuff we know we're not good at or we can't do. We yeah. we engage these people, and without them, you know, definitely, yeah, it may not be shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so. definitely true. Yeah, the people around you and you build your team with, I mean, definitely will make or break you. Yeah. You know, and that's you can't do it alone. No. You know, most times, like it's especially in this business, it's like you have to know people and talk yeah. to people and have a relationship with people, and you know, it's just it's an important thing. Yeah, well, I mean, you're you're like I said, I I'm pretty good at reading people, and uh, like I mean, you're you're just your whole demeanor and what you're doing and your music and your just your family life. I can tell you're very close to your family, yeah. which, which to me, I, I mean, our whole thing is uh, family, friends, and loyal motherfuckers. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. our that's our line. I like that's that. what we want. Yeah, I like family, that. friends, and loyal motherfuckers, and that's that's kind of our um, I don't know mantra or whatever ethos. But um, it, it's, uh, it's it's been it's been we've been very blessed. And, yeah. Uh, like how whatever we can do uh, to help you, I, I I like you as a human being, and you're you're a damn awesome singer. Which <laughs> yeah. audience you're gonna get to see that uh, separate from this, but like, so how would you? Where would you tell um, people out there? Like, where's some good places for them to go listen to you if they've never listened to you, your webpage or anything, so we can get that out. There? Um, any streaming platform, the you know the big Pandora, Spotify, iHeart, Pand- um, YouTube. Yeah. I mean, I'm on all them, um, and then. Like, I, I have my uh, Facebook page that I'll put stuff up on, yeah. like, acoustic stuff I do at home or something, or if I write a new song, or, you know, and that's at Zach Haynes Country with the uh, number one. Okay. Uh, my first one, Facebook decided to take down for yeah. whatever reason, so I had to rebuild, but, um, but Zach yeah. Zach Haynes I mean, Country, number one. Yeah. 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 They can find and follow me there and yeah. see if, you know, if I'm going to be in their area or whatever, and so... Yeah, well, that's awesome. So also, like, um, are you posting like where you're gonna be and yeah, on my like, website, on Instagram like I, and stuff. Yeah, my website's yeah. at zachkanescountry dot com, and uh, not at Zach Haines, <laughs> zachkanescountry dot com. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a tech guy. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> right. It, neither am I. I fooled everybody. Yeah. All the time. Hey, I'll say stuff, and, <laughs> and my son's like, Dad, that's not how it works. Yeah. Like, yeah. but uh, yeah, zachkanescountry dot com, and I got a calendar on there that I'll you know I'll put Post up. put stuff on there or. Like that week, I'll make a post on social media saying like you know, a couple shows and then tag the place or whatever. Cool. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a, a little gig on our our new app coming out. Bang Groupies comes out September 15th. It's gonna help things like with what you're doing on keeping people posted on where you're at and venues you're playing at. I'm excited for that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call back on you and yeah. say, Hey Zach, <laughs> yeah. give this a try for us. Let, it, let us know. I'm pumped about it, man. I yeah. think it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be good. Really I'd, cool I'd like to do some fun stuff, man. Yeah. I, I really would. I think I think we can. I mean, we're trying to build a community of people. Like uh, we were talking, we we've got athletes in our stuff. We want to do musicians. Uh, we we really like we want a, a good community for that. Attitude, just like you said, hey man, every yeah. everybody wins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know? That's what I mean. Stuff like this, like guys like me, really appreciate this. Yeah. An avenue to be able to be heard and be seen and just kind of, you know, feel like what you're doing is, is, is doing, yeah. you know, <laughs> it, like do, it does matter, dude. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'll be, I mean, I'm, it's funny because, um, like I, I, I literally like country's part of everybody. I don't care where you are. I don't, give, I don't care if you're up Northeast, someone's, you know, listen to country. I mean, country saw such a part of, you know, the kind of the American bloodline, you mm-hmm. know? And I mean, yeah. and nowadays I, I don't want to knock new country or whatever, but like, I, I just, uh, I like when people like I want someone genuine to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regardless, it, it's like all these ladies out here that want a dude that's six ten makes a million dollars and whatever. It, it, it's not real statistically. So uh, <laughs> quit being an asshole. Don't make a guy shave his beard. So, but, um, yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. Don't do you want, it. You want a genuine person. That's yeah, I'm not going back to the guy that cut my beard because he he put 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 a towel over my head and went at it. Yeah, he didn't like it. I guess. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'd have a hard time walking back in yeah. there. Yeah, and I, I forget the guy. He didn't speak English, so it's all right. He didn't know what the hell I was saying. <laughs> he didn't know what I was saying. But uh, man, I really appreciate you uh, being on the podcast. No, and I appreciate then, it. Yeah, this has been great. Y'all are awesome. Uh, thank you. We feel we feel the same, man. I, we we want to uh, we want to we want to grow together and, and build a community together, and we're going to do that. Any last thing you want to tell anybody? Your wife, your son, 
Your fans? Um, I mean, hey, Chantel and Dominic. <laughs> Hope you all are doing good. Give a shout out to my uh, my my band, uh, yeah. Jimmy, Eric, and Anthony. Like, uh, I'd love to have them on sometime or something. Yeah, I'd love Maybe to. Down, down the road or something, but uh, they're they're a bunch of characters too. Yeah, let's Easy let's get a to. show together. I mean, yeah. I we we've got we've got enough um, uh, you know, partners in this now that I think we could probably do a pretty good salty like Bandalusa yeah. or you know Palooza type yeah. thing where we could get a bunch of, you know, it'd be a mix of country, rock, yeah. jazz, whatever. It'd be, be like badass. a cool venue for people yeah. to come and that'd, do it. That'd be awesome. Yeah, something like that. Be, so yeah, that may be coming. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Dude, I really appreciate you having on. Yeah, you're you're you. awesome. So uh, check out Zach Haynes, guys. Country singer, good human being, American. Uh, guy's awesome. We're a big fan of him. So until next week, let's go.